and today we are here in Shibuya just had dinner and we were walking and we came across one of these expensive fruit stores and I've seen this on BuzzFeed where they have like insanely perfect fruit for like ridiculously expensive prices the better looking the fruit the juicier the grape the more expensive the fruit so over here we have all the grapes I want to know what these things are over here for about $32 you can get a big branch of grapes and some it looks like dipping sauce expensive as they walk by. Okay, so these ones look the biggest and the juiciest. I might get one of these gift bags. And over here we have the cutest little apples. Oh my god, the bananas. Look at the bananas. It's like they have to fit a certain criteria to be in this basket. Oh, the ice cream. There's grape ice cream. Oh my god. Mango, grape, purple grape, chestnut and milk. And strawberry and milk. That's for you. So these are fruit jelly. Wow. They look so fancy. Oh, this is what we came here for. You can get melon and grapes for like $65. Look how perfect these melons are. I just wanna mm, do a smack test. And then over here we have, it looks like just a thing of fruit. Those are the most expensive baskets. Oh. So oh my god, like look at that pear. Have you seen a pear so thick and juicy? This one should be on sale. It shouldn't be that much. Look, what is that? It's green. Uh -huh. You disgraced yourself by giving this as a gift. This is $250. This is an apple. These grapes grew up in a loving home. Parents never fought. They still together. This pineapple. They even cut his hair. They said it was too wild. Okay, now let's buy some. Okay, so we just spent about $150 worth of fruit. I can't wait to go home and try all of it. How about them juicy melons? Mm. Look at this place though. We just stumbled upon this really fancy, expensive dessert place after buying all this expensive fruit. This place is very fancy. This is the fanciest dessert cafe I've ever seen. So my hair just stays like super frizzy here, so I just, I gave up. There's nothing I can do about it anymore, so I'm just gonna have frizzy hair the whole time I'm here. Oh my god, they're so fancy. Wow. 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 Look at that. The heart. I want this bite. It's ruined. Oh, I love it. I ruined it because I love it. Quiet on set. <laughs> Review. So this is the morning after we went to the fancy fruit store because it was too late to record because there was literally no like light in here. So today I'm here bringing you this ginormous apple. Like head comparison. My head wins. But we're gonna open it up. You know I've probably seen apples this big. This ain't nothing special. I've never seen an apple that. Where, where are you really? going to see apples that big? I feel like fair. Like Walmart sometimes has apples this okay. big. Well, Walmart's oh, apples actually, are probably loaded with that's, stuff. That's huge. That's a money. Maker. Mm. Did you realize as soon as you unwrapped it, you can smell how good it was? Oh, yeah. Wow. I have a forever stuffy nose, but like <laughs> that does smell delicious. Like it smells crisp. Mm. Does that smell crisp? She or he a thick boy. Did you just misgender an apple? Mm. Since it's your apple, I want you to take one good bite out of it just to hear the crunch before you cut it. No, I don't like doing that. But I feel like it's gonna give a satisfying crunch. Okay. When are you ever gonna get to buy the apple this big again? When I come back to Japan and buy an apple this oh, big Oh, okay. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I'm not even that big. Mmm. Is it good? That one, juicy apple. There we go. Look at that! Look at one slice of apple! It's huge! Alright, bone apple teeth. Oh, I'll take this one. It's pretty juicy. Mm -hmm. It's very big and juicy, like your butt. <laughs> what do you rate this apple? Mm. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Why? I don't even really like apples that much. Why is it so big? They treat it with love and care. Grew up in a loving home. I give this an eight out of 10. I feel like it's not as juicy as I thought it would be. I think it's juicy. Eight out of 10 sounds fair. Uh-huh. One piece of this is like the size of a normal apple. I know. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, if you cut up a whole apple, it's like one slice. You know what they say, an apple day keeps the monetization away. Next up we have a box with high quality fruit in it so when you buy the fruit they package them really nicely and then give it to you because you're supposed to give these as a gift mm. and here we have the biggest juiciest grape i have ever seen we just gonna take this bad boy out do you know how people in japan eat grapes how they peel it and then eat it oh yeah man i paid for the skin i'm gonna eat it normally you would buy all this fruit as a gift but we gifted it to ourselves yeah i like how they put a tissue on it like to protect it Ooh. 
That is one thick, juicy set of boys. Why is this so heavy? I'm like trying to hold this for a thumbnail and it's so heavy. They're full of juice. It's like carrying a gallon of milk. How are we gonna eat this? You peeling it? I say one of us peels, the other one Two just goes for it. Two of them came off. Look at these. These are like four or five times the size of regular grapes. I've never peeled a grape before. Are you gonna peel it? Yeah, I'm peeling it. Right, I'm just gonna go for it. It's not very satisfying to peel it. Are you ready for this? Dude, we gonna be here all day. All right, here I go. <laughs> Ew. You just give it the vacuum suck? Mm -hmm. Do you eat the skin off when you peel it? Or do you I don't just know. I, just, I heard they just they peel it off. But do they throw it away? I don't know. Okay, I got a nice layer peeled. It's looking like a dinosaur egg. Got to right come here. out of extinction. Mmm. Mm. You like it? Mm. It's good, right? Yeah. That's a good grape. It's a little weird. Like, it has something weird about it. There's a weird aftertaste, huh? Yeah, but it kind of tastes like a chemical. But I don't yeah, think yeah, put a chemical weird. with it. What is it? They spray it with something to get them that big. It ain't just love. What are your secrets, Japan? So, apparently, there's a ton of stores that sell, like, grapes. Some bigger than this, some smaller at varying price points. The one from BuzzFeed, I believe it was almost $2,000. We ain't got that kind of budget, okay? I wasn't trying to pay $2,000 for a hand of grapes. Okay. We ain't BuzzFeed. That's like $57 a grape. Mm-hmm. We ain't balling like that yet. We got its little brother, like 10 bucks a grape. Yeah, this was like 10 bucks a grape, which is... Still a lot. That's a lot. I don't, I don't think that's worth it. Like, who pays that much for fruit when you could go down to a freaking grocery store? And the regular grocery stores have, like, mighty fine fruit here. It's not like America, where even the Whole Foods is pretty dang. I would just skip the store and go straight to the vineyard and steal them. Yeah. I don't think the vineyard got ones as juicy. Okay, what do you rate these out of 10? Out of the grapes that I've eaten before? Yeah. I would give it a 7. It would be higher, but that chemical aftertaste? Yeah. Kind of messed it yeah. up. Yeah. I would probably give these an 8. Okay, next up. I kind of cheaped out and I got the other types of grapes, but not on the full vine. They just sell them in little packs with four grapes in each pack. So I wanted to try the darker grapes. I don't know what they're called. Do you know what these are called? I've never had dark grapes. Are they and concord grapes? Concord grapes. Well, the green ones are okay. I used to like them with cheese, but my favorite are the, the red ones. And they have to be really hard. I don't like grapes when they're like soft. Do you like them soft? No, that, that means they're bad, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. So I find it like, kind of unsettling how it has like the little stem, <laughs> the little teat <laughs> of the grape. You have to rip his hat off. Yeah, you have to take its hat off before you eat it. So goodbye hat. You will be no more. Mmm. What? These are, one, these are one of my favorite. This doesn't even taste like them. What does it taste like to you? It tastes like so much better. <laughs> than the red ones? It's like, no, regular green grapes. These are just like a whole other fruit. I want another one. These are delicious. This is like green grapes, like are fuller you older brother. Me? These are amazing. They're the best grape I've ever had. Yeah? Mm. It tastes like a whole entire juicy fruit. No, those are good. How can you describe the taste? Greta, have one and tell me how you can describe the taste. Do I eat the tea? No. Mm -hmm. It does taste like a another fruit but I can't think of what it is. Yeah, same. Like it doesn't taste like the regular green grapes. Because they're better than the regular green grapes. They're so much better. Everything here is better. Why are we going home? I don't want to go home. <laughs> Me neither. I really want to stay here. These look like figs kind of. Like a little fig. <laughs> the only fig I know is Newton. Oh uh, no! <laughs> Have one. Okay, I try. <laughs> okay, Teaching now all. we try the Concord. This is what the inside looks like. This is like a vegetable. This does not taste good. I don't like it. It has some like grassy taste. I feel like I can taste the purple in it. I feel like is I that taste weird? the green in it. Do you really? Yeah. I taste the purple. I, I, I thought green. it was weird that I tasted purple. I, I don't know. I taste the color. <laughs> <laughs> So these are cheap grapes from the grocery store. These are pretty big, but like, look what you get here. It's like a blueberry versus a fig. I don't like these ones. How oh, those ones taste? So that's a no. What? Greg, get your cheap grapes out of here. <laughs> these are so good, you're wrong. No, you're trash. Get them out. <laughs> these are not good. He <laughs> takes your grape very seriously. It's so good. This got some kind of chemical taste in it. No, like the red one? Yeah. Maybe you don't like grapes. Purple drink? Have you purple. considered? I don't, I don't like, like grapes. Purple I don't like drink. purple grapes. I like these kind of grapes. How much do you rate the purple grapes that are all gone now? Uh, That's going to be my lowest out of five. Two out of ten. Purple so. grapes suck. I give them the bronze medal. They're still on the podium. I think green is my favorite. The green was delicious. The green 10 out of 10, man. That was, ooh. That makes this whole haul worth it. Like me experiencing these green grapes. I don't even call these grapes. I feel like grapes is an insult to how good those are. Okay, we have a cookie and a coffee break. I want a cookie. Mm. 
delicious. Finally, some good hecking coffee. This is where you can talk about your day. Oh, we're having a tea break? We just woke up. Woke up, heard some cats crying. My palate has been cleansed. They are good. They are butter cookies. Mm -hmm. Mm. And I got milk to go with it. Mm. Can I have milk in my coffee? Mm -hmm. Oh, delicious. Here <laughs> is the most beautiful, luscious Malone I have ever seen. And I love me mm. some melon. The designs on it are so perfect. Why does it look so perfect? This Malone so perfect. It was perfect never thrown into a box. It's got a nice hat on too. You gotta spank it for good luck. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, it's heavy too. Do <coughs> you want to hold the baby before we I eat it? Those antennas. Oh no, it's so I know. Beautiful. I got the ones with the nicest antennas. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <gasps> it's yellow. They have yellow melons here. Uh, are melons not supposed to be yellow? They're supposed to be orange. Have we never had a melon before? Uh oh yeah yeah. I thought you liked melon. How is it? Try it. What do you mean, how is it? Took the piece I was gonna grab. Mm, that's a really good melon. But it doesn't taste like a melon. It's the juiciest. It's very juicy. That was really good. That's probably the best melon I ever had. Probably too juicy. <laughs> is there such a thing as too juicy? If there was such a thing, it would be this. Now it's... you gotta scoop it up and drink the juice. No. I don't know how I feel about this one. I really like the taste of regular melon, and this just seems different. It seems sweeter, doesn't it? I know it's juicier for sure. Is it weird if I say, like, this is, like, sweeter, but... I feel like our melons have like more sugar in it somehow. Yeah, this is kind of like a honeydew. Cause this is like in America, this is supposed to be an orange. It's like, it's a it's cantaloupe. It's supposed to be an orange? It's, it's not a honeydew. Oh. It kind of tastes like a, a honeydew melon, right? That's good. I don't know how I feel about it. It's good. Is it not what you were expecting? I, I No, it's not what I was expecting at all. I thought it was gonna ruin regular melons for me, but I feel like it's just a different <clears> kind <throat> of melon. I still like the other kinds of melon. Yeah, I feel like it's really good and juicy, but I still prefer the other melon. Mm -hmm. I like it. The other melon because they're more, what is it, starchy or textured? They're harder. This is softer. But I like the crunch of a melon. <sighs> yeah. This doesn't have that crunch. It's too, it's too juicy. It's too juicy. See, there is such a thing as too juicy. Would you like some melon, post-melon? Some post-melon. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below which one of these would you guys want to try the most? The juiciest melon or the fattest grape? And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh. Oh. And make sure you check out Digital Nexus channel in the description below. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.